It's been 10 years since Auburn's 2007 football team played in Jordan-Hare Stadium. It is a season that brings up good memories for players that played for the Tigers that season. One of the best memories that I have of that year was just the training camp, just how competitive and uh, just how both sides of the ball, offense, defense, and special teams just used to go after each other and how fun it was. And, uh, you know, Coach Muschamp and, you know, Coach Tuberville, Coach Eddie Grant, and, uh, you know, all those guys that just brought this attitude and this energy to our team that year that carried on during the season. And uh, I tell people all the time about that season, uh, our record really didn't reflect, you know, how good we were. It was young, it was my freshman year, it was my first time uh, obviously playing. It was a lot, I was happy to be playing, uh, I was happy to be getting out there on the field, so I had a lot of emotions going through me. Uh, but the team was great, the coaches were great, so you know, it was a great, great experience. Oh, preseason 07, I remember coming in as a freshman, didn't really know what was going on, and um, I know like most freshmen, I watched a bunch of YouTube videos in Auburn. Um, Auburn was a top five team in the country, and you see those guys on Saturdays making plays, and I came in as a freshman, I was scared to death. We had some guys like Quentin Grove and Pat Sams and Derek Marks and um, Trey Blackman, some big time players that um, you kind of kept your mouth shut. You watched, you learned, and when you got your chance, you go in and, and try to make the best of it. Wes Byram, a freshman out of Fort Lauderdale, trying to put it through to give Auburn the win. Here's the snap, the place, the kick is up, the kick is long enough, the kick is good! Good! good. See you later, alligator! Tigers win! Auburn went on the road and beat defending national champion Florida in the swamp thanks to West Byram's game-winning field goal. The Florida game on the road, uh, you know, going in we were two or three point uh, underdog, touchdown underdogs, um, and went down there and, and started uh, three true freshman offensive line, which was, was unheard of in the SEC. And, and um, you know, we put together a great game plan, had made some big plays. Rod Smith had a great game as a receiver position. Cody Burns came in and had some positive things uh, you know, as, as a quarterback uh, position. And, and defense played incredibly well. Boy, talk about a fun game. Uh, the Swamp taking down the number one team in the country, Tim Tebow, all, you know, all that. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun. Well, we knew that game was going to be crazy just because the year before they win the national championship, but they come to Auburn and, you know, how that game, you know, the block punt. And uh, I, I actually was the guy that blocked the punt. Trey Smith got all the credit for scoring. No knock to Trey. Love you, Trey. Florida got, you know, Tebow, Percy Harvin, Chris Rainey, you know, all these great guys. And we had our gist of our team back as well. We knew what the challenge was and, you know, what it takes to go on in a night game to go to the swamp. You know, you got to walk in there with an attitude. And we walked in there and didn't think twice about not winning that. As a kid, you dream of playing at places like the swamp. Obviously, Auburn in the SEC Stadium. And I remember uh, as a freshman going in there, um, scoring a touchdown and, and just kind of being like, wow, I just did that at the Swamp. It was pretty cool. It was awesome. I mean, uh, I had a ton of friends at the game. Uh, I have actually a really funny photo of me after the game with about 15 of my friends that I went to high school with. And they all have Florida jerseys on. And I'm the only one with the Auburn jersey on in it. So, you know, that was awesome to get to go back to the home state and obviously, you know, do well. The Tigers ended the season with a 17-10 victory over Alabama. The win gave the Tiger program six consecutive victories over the Crimson Tide. It was almost like we were expect. I mean, just the guys before us, you know, I didn't, you know, start that streak or, or that thing. You know, when I got to Auburn, it was almost like known like, hey, you know, we beat these guys three years in a row. This year is not going to be the year that they beat us. So it was just one of those things that you kind of walk into a situation and they're telling you this how it is. There's no other way around it. That's the thing I can I can uh, go back when I go back home to Birmingham and around all my friends that are Alabama fans, my family that's Alabama fans. You know, it's it's a thing I can always I go to the grave saying I never lost to Alabama. So you know, I showed up here on campus in 2002 and left in 2007, and during that time we never lost to them. So. You know, the 2007 game wasn't wasn't a pretty game, but, uh, you know, we, we played Auburn football, good defense, limited the turnovers, and, and came away with a win. And uh, walking off that field, holding up six fingers was pretty special. Yeah, just to be a part of that, I mean, that's, that's you're in history at that point. So, um, very, very exciting. And it was a very great time to be part of the program and, and, uh, and good to be involved. Um, anytime you beat them, um, that many times in a row was pretty special. Um, obviously, the Iron Bowl is the biggest rivalry in college football. Two really good teams, um, and 
And it doesn't matter, throw the records out the window every single year. It comes down to really hard-nosed football, who wants it more in the state. And uh, just being a part of that six in a row was uh, pretty special. The lessons learned on and off the football field prepared the Tigers for their lives after they left the Plains. You know, that's, that's been the biggest takeaway of, of my time at Auburn was, you know, not, not on the field, off the field, and my teammates in the locker room, uh, the coaches, Coach Yox, preparing us uh, of, of just being mentally tough and, and how to work hard. Hard work, just bring, bringing your lunch pail to, to work every day in life. You know, our whole model and our whole makeup was just, you know, we go to work every day, no matter what the situation is, no matter what the weather is, no matter what the media is saying, no matter what a coach is saying. As a player, you come to work every day, and that was our identity, and that's what we kind of built everything on. And uh, when we transfer that into life, you know, every day I'm gonna, you know, go to work in life. You know, take that that bringing your lunch pail work to life every day and uh, you know that's kind of how I go about my business.